Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I am back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida about to do a review of another Beretta. And this time it is Beretta 3032 Tomcat chambered in, yes, 32 ACP. Now, let's do some shooting <laughs> and see what this uh, baby Beretta can do. Now, one of the things before I take out the magazine, point out, we have our mag release sitting, not your usual over here, but all the way down here on the grip, which seems to be functioning pretty good. So no problems there at all. A few cool things about this Beretta is there are actually two ways of loading it, all right? So you can have your uh, normal loading procedure, putting in the rounds in the magazine, which seems to be functioning pretty good, very easy to load, uh, and it is nice, nicely numbered, 70, 70, yeah, I wish, seven, seven capacity magazine, all right? So let's start with the normal operation, and then I'll show you some uh, really cool weird trick about this gun, <laughs> something that makes this gun kind of uh, special, in fact, which was used as a selling point by the Beretta, all right? So, five rounds. Let's see how this tiny little barrel can handle the recoil from a uh, 32 ACP. Now, I think, not too hard to rack, but I can tell that the spring is tighter on this, which is good, which is what we want because, you know, Tiny gun like this, you do want the uh, better spring. Let's see if I can hit that yellow circle in the middle. There we go. All right. Takes a little bit of time to adjust to the sides. So since I mentioned the sides, Let's talk about them, because here, as you can see, the front side kind of blends in, not kind of, it actually does blend in, it's part of the barrel, as you can see, it's the same color, and I think that's one of the things that Beretta should have done a little bit differently about this gun, one of the things, uh, because you have a nice standard rear side, which works pretty good, but the front side, it kind of, not kind of, it does blend, blend in with the front and it's it becomes kind of hard to see it's kind of to concentrate on it but not a huge deal let me show you a selling point of this little tiny gun now you're probably wondering what is this little thing right here well what it is is the barrel release <laughs> would you look at that so what you can do is you can just take your round stick it in here and it's ready to shoot, yes, in double action. Yes, this is a single double action trigger. So let's see how uh, it does in uh, double action. And as you can see, the magazine is not even in there. See if I can hit the yellow circle a little better. Well, I think I could have done a little better than that, but close. So let's talk about the trigger. We have, like I said, single double action. So let me show you the single action operation. You have, this is right now a single action, as you can see the hammer already cocked. You have about three and a half millimeters of travel, all right? And then a very crisp snap. I like, actually, I really do like the trigger. This, this trigger is very, very nice. But let's talk about the double action trigger now, because here we have about one millimeter of uh, some travel here and then the double action starts happening and keeps happening and keeps happening and bam all right so the double action trigger is actually pretty good too uh, very very nice in single action but if you want to carry it um, as a safety precaution as a double action trigger you can definitely do that pretty good alrighty so a few things about the grip the grip is actually fairly aggressive you do have uh, some aggression, some stippling here on the sides, on the grip, and uh, as part of the frame itself, you also do have 
uh, a very similar type of aggression as you would get on a full size Beretta 92 FS. Yes, and the same thing goes on the front. Very good, I like it. The only thing whenever it comes to the grip, I kind of wish Beretta implemented here some serrations on the trigger guard because this tiny of a gun, I would prefer having this kind of grip, but you can because it's just gonna slide. Now, whenever it comes to the slide, since I mentioned the slide, all right, <laughs> your typical Beretta slide, not a lot of uh, grip to rack the stuff, all right, <laughs> but you do have some a little bit here, nothing on the front. Um, not, not too bad overall, but could have been a little bit better. Of course, there is our safety mechanism, which if you do engage it, it does lock the slide in place, so you cannot even rack it. So you can engage the safety even without any round in the chamber, all right? But if we do have one round in the chamber, which we will right now, all right, so we have our safety is off. We have one round in the chamber, our safety is engaged. And now if we press the trigger, nothing happens, all right? Pretty good, I do like it. I do like it a lot. So it's not one of those finicky decocking safeties. It's just a regular normal safety that locks everything in place. And now, obviously, you take it off the safety and you're ready to fire. Right. And I keep shooting it a little bit to the left and maybe a little bit down, more to the left. So, overall, not too shabby. Let me put some more rounds through it and uh, we will try to come up with some uh, more or less reasonable conclusion for this gun. Now, 32 ACP is uh, it's a good round. Honestly, it is a good round. I know there are a lot of people out there that are not fans of rounds like 380 ACP, 32 ACP. I do personally like it. First of all, one of the things, it was designed by John Moses Browning, all right, number one, and manufactured by FN, yes, Fabrique Nationale, all right. So it has a great history. It's been around since 1899. So it's been around forever. It's a good time-tested round. And I think in a small concealed carry pistol like this that you will carry around on you, maybe as even a, as a backup pistol. This is great. So, nothing fancy this time, not gonna do any kind of loading, nothing, but rack. And it's not that hard to rack, honestly. I know one of the selling points of this gun was the fact that you don't need to rack it in order to put the round in the chamber. But racking it is not that hard. So let's see if I can hit that yellow circle with the last few rounds that I have a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Come on. And I think that was the last one. All right. So as you can see, as a part of the design, uh, it does not actually lock back on the last round. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind the mag release. Honestly, I don't mind it at all. I don't see you pressing that mag release by accident, even when you have a two-hand grip on this gun, so not a big deal at all. The safety, I think it is pretty good. Uh, it is smart. The design of it is smart because it engages up. So to turn on the safety, you put it up and it's good. You want the safety, the uh, disengagement of safety, right? The turn off of the safety, the off position of the safety to be down, all right? Because, I'll tell you why, because sometimes I've seen the guns that have the safety where it engages down, not good, because whenever you have a grip, you have your thumb resting on top of the safety, recoil, and your safety is engaged by accident because of the recoil. Not good. This one is down, so good, all right? And then, of course, uh, this, I mean, I, I can't say like, I can't say anything negative about this feature, but then again, there isn't really much positive about it. 
it's cool, all right? It's different, so why not? You have that, <laughs> why not? It's pretty cool. The trigger is really, really good. I think the only, the only real complaint about this pistol I have is the front side. I wish it was at least colored differently, which is really not that mm, big of a deal because all you need to do is just put some orange tape, like uh, something like you would see on a revolver, and uh, that would definitely solve the problem here. Yeah. So overall, I do, I do actually like this Beretta. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this little gun? Would you get something like this for uh, your concealed carry needs? Would you get something like this for maybe uh, carrying it in the car or maybe on your nightstand for your home defense? I don't know. If you have any requests, drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to address them if I come across that stuff. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Firearms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.